He's had a hand in Lamborghini, Bugatti, and even Koenigsegg's first four-seater supercar. And now, one of the world's most established car designers, Sasha Selipanov, is making a statement with his first ever hypercar, the Nilo 27. It certainly helps to have uh, um, the 20 years in the industry that I spent and to have a vast network that I have at this point in time and to have contributed to all these different car companies and all these amazing projects and having had leadership positions in those companies too. All of that really helps. But I do believe that ultimately it's the product that has to do the talking. So if the if the car wasn't attractive or if the vision wasn't uh, received well, I, I don't think we would have gotten the level of coverage and the level of uh, tailwind and support that we received. With the Nilo 27, he believes he's achieved just that. Traditional, analog, yet super fast and bold. Standing out in a market shifting towards electric, the new hypercar boasts a thousand brake horsepower, naturally aspirated V12 engine. Electrification is obviously a very important phase for our society, a transition that will hopefully take some of the pressure off uh, climate change and, and uh, create an environment that is better for our future generations. So I, I endorse it completely and I'm happy that it's taking place. But uh, when it comes to the world of uh, emotional products such as sports cars, supercars, hypercars, I believe that internal combustion engines still have their place. The perfect driving experience is made up of many elements. And for petrol heads, traditional combustion engines provide one key feature. That tactile, analog, raw feeling. What I find even more important is the emotional side where I just find, you know, being able to interact with the vehicle with uh, uh, switches, buttons, toggles uh, and the kind of the mechanical, haptic and aural feedback that they provide much more interesting, engaging and satisfying than flipping through uh, touchscreen interfaces and, and trying to control the car electronically. While the latest technology and digitalization were key themes at this year's Montreux Car Week, the Nilu brought back a retro-modern feel with a seven-speed gated manual gearbox and a single screen. Sasha aims to eliminate any distractions from the pure driving experience. And it roars.